Today, I'm taking on a challenge that will take my 3D rendering skills to the test. I'm going to create the same 3D render not once, but three times. But here's the catch. I'm going to create it in three different time frames. Five minutes, 30 minutes and one hour. I want to see how big of a difference time really makes when it comes to 3D renderings. Stick around to find out. My name is Nuno Silva and the idea for this project is something like this. In the foreground, we'll have lush trees and colorful flowers. We'll see some people walking and playing in the park and some tall trees to provide some shade. So now let's fire up the five minutes on the clock and let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is to add here some material. So I'm going to add here the grass material from the terrain. Here I need some stone. So I'm going to outdoor stone. Uh, it can be this one. This here can be some concrete. It's just a curb. Any concrete will do. Okay. I need the grass material. In this case, I'm going to go to the 2D grass and that's it. Okay. Uh, here I want a brick. So outdoor bricks. Uh, okay. Something like this. I need something very, very fast. So and I'm going to create like a dark red material, something like that. Reduce the glossiness, increase here the edges. And I'm going to do the same here. Copy paste. OK, now here we need some glass. So I'm going to outdoor glass. Just paste this one. Here can be some concrete. Again, I'm not being very picky right now because we don't have a lot of time. It's five minutes. Right now, it's just one minute and a half already. So. Time is running out, <laughs> so let's see, uh, here can be something like that, no, terrible, okay, it's better, so another material, so at least this is the advantage of using this Lumion library, because you can uh, select here from a vast library of materials, uh, I think we got everything, I'm going to do the same one here, okay. So everything for the materials. Now we need to add with the mass placement. I'm going to select here a couple of trees. So, and I want to add here some trees to cover this area. So I'm going to add like this a line. Add a lot of them. Randomize all the elements. Uh, okay, one is enough. Then another line here, maybe from here to here. One extra line here, like so. So now what I'm going to do is select all of them and randomize the size and randomize rotation and just move it up a little bit. So I just want to cover the background. So three minutes, terrible, terrible. <laughs> I want to add some trees here. So maybe I can select like a couple of them. One here, I think one here to cover this area will be nice. One here, another there, okay. I like this tall pine tree, so maybe I'll add a couple of them here, here, and maybe one here. I need more trees to cover this area. So three minutes, almost four minutes. Okay, just a couple of them, it's enough. We don't have much time, but maybe we can just quickly, quickly add like a couple of flowers here and there. It's gonna be beautiful, all of these flowers here. Very, very, very well placed, as you can see. And just randomize. Okay, so the time, uh -oh. just need to now go here. I need to select here the angle. So 22 millimeters, uh, 30 seconds. Okay, so something like this, I think it's fine. Then I'm gonna add a daytime, real skies. I will rotate because I want more uh, like this to view. Yeah, and uh, what else I can do? Just want to reduce here, and I'm gonna make the reflections high quality. Uh, I'm gonna save it, and uh, one last thing. I'm gonna add the reflection control, okay? And that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna render this out and let's see how it works. So this is the five minute version. So as you can see with uh, with Lumion, which is the software I'm using now. You have already these styles that you can use, the render styles. And with all of these assets, it's very useful to speed up your workflow and your projects. Anyway, this is the five minutes. Now let's start the clock again and let's see the 30 minutes. And just one note, I'm going to start the 30 minutes from scratch as well. So now, as you can see, with exactly the same scene as a starting point with nothing in it, I'm going to start the clock. So 30 minutes on the clock. So let's get started. 
I do have a little bit more time now, so can organize things a little bit better. But I'm going to use the same grass material here because I like to use the landscape one. And what I'm going, going to do is go to landscape. Here, I'm going to select the different texture, this one. I'm just going to increase here the tiling. And then you can go here to the grass and increase here the size, wilderness. And I'm just going to add a couple of these, one or two. I think it uh, looks nice, gives some variation. Now, since we have more time again, I want to use a different one. I think this one looks looks good. I just want to increase the displacement, see? So we have this effect that the stones are coming out and a little bit darker. For the curve, concrete, and I'm gonna make it uh, darker and increase here a little bit the relief, okay? And round edges and a little bit of the weathering. I'm going to use the 2D grass because it will not be visible from the distance and this one is much lighter. I have here one material from the library of Megascans, so they do have nice materials and you can always apply and then save them in uh, in your library in Lumion, so this is nice, so you can use it later in other projects. I'm going to add a rusted material, you can find it here on the outdoor metal and it's the last one. I already made some changes at save again as a preset. And uh, I just made it a little bit darker, as you can see. So basically it's the same material. I saved it here as well. I think it's this one. Yeah, so just gonna decrease the, the map scale. So you see these small details, I think it looks nice. I'm gonna copy and paste it here on the windows as well. And probably here as well. So here the, the glass, outdoor glass, and then I just put it to zero one, the reflections. I think it looks better, a little bit more reflective. Here, uh, let's select the material. Maybe we can go to stone material. Yeah, why not? This area will be visible. We can go to the position and we can adjust here the position. So we can make those tiles really match there. Of course, we cannot do in all of them, but at least in one part, we could do it. We can add again a stone material, soil material. I mean, I'm gonna add this one. Maybe one from polygon. Yeah, this one, this one looks good. So it's all in the small details. Now we need to start adding some background. So let's go here. So if you watched my previous video about the cabin in the forest, you noticed that I made uh, with Lumion trees and some others, this background, then make it bigger, increase, maybe like this. Let's just see. Okay. And then we can just duplicate, move it here and another instance of it. Okay. I'm going to add a couple of these trees here. So with the mass placement tool, I'm just going to click one time here, another and another. Since I don't have much time, I'm always uh, using the shift key to fly around because it's much faster and click here, select all objects in the same category. And now I'm going to do two things. First is to randomize both the size and rotation and then move all of the trees up. So something like this. And so I'm gonna add them here to this area. Okay, a lot of them. And then move all lower like this. I'm gonna select the other one, doing the same, randomize, and move them all like that. Okay, so we have really nice coverage there, so we don't see any of the horizon. And that's it, we can actually hide this because uh, we don't need it for now, just for the rendering. And I'm going here to the Find Detail ones, and uh, on this section, I'm going to select this one, and I'm going to add a couple of them in a circular motion, scale down way. I need them to be in a circle, so I'm going to make it like that. Select all again, move them down. And now I'm going to add here some plants from Polygon. They do have very nice quality of plants. So I'm going to add this one. So I'm just adding randomly a couple of them. So I'm going to select all of them, randomize, rotate, randomize, rotate, uh, 22 millimeters is fine. And uh, what I'm going to do is go to daytime. Second thing is to go to architectural two point perspective. So all the vertical lines are straight. And uh, another thing I want to do is to render this in four by three. And how we can do this? We need to go to effects, tools and utilities, and then we'll find this image overlay. So I'm going to click here and I have here from my, uh, this is from my uh, Lumina render course that I provide this, but uh, you can create this yourself. This is four by three. 
okay and this this helps you to frame the composition better so i like this one i want to focus more on this area i like to have this building here so it gives a little bit more context this is a apartment complex so i'm gonna save here the position real skies let's rotate the lighting uh, actually i'm gonna change this to clear one now let's find the position something like that i'm gonna add a little bit of sharpness uh, let me increase the exposure what else i want this to be a little bit more here as well reflection high quality okay now increase this i'm not sure if we need on the floor let's see okay uh, hyper light okay just decrease a little bit and skylight i'm gonna decrease 12 shadow i want a little bit more shadow Exterior, exterior so inside is brighter this one i don't want bye bye and uh, yeah all right so <laughs> i think we have already a very good start you see when you add some nice materials and uh, nice objects so everything starts to look quite nice so i'm gonna just click here okay and i have this here which i'm gonna add so one more like this so i'm just making here this curve area Okay, now I'll select all of them and again, I don't like to see so much of this area here, so I'm just going to move them down like that. And now we need to start at some nice trees, maybe. So I'm going to here to the fine detail trees in a new layer. Yeah, I think this one is fine to this area. Another one here and another one. And I think we have another one here. Yeah. Smaller here. Okay. So I'm going to use this one here and probably another one right here a little bit smaller this one just to provide some shade yeah they are quite tall they look nice so i'll just select this four and actually i can add a couple more here on the back so we'll have here like a nice forest of these trees now i think i want some trees here as well i think we have here these ones they're actually quite nice as well and another smaller another one here this will be nice to kind of cover this area a little bit better i will close this area with some trees so let's do that right now because we are already 23 minutes so we don't have much time left so this is a tree from 3d sky and it looks re really really nice you can see all the details so i'm going to use it <laughs> first some branches here Okay, this part is nice. So I'm just starting to add a couple more vegetation assets here to kind of fill this bit better, this area. I'll add a couple more of these bushes, these ones, they're also nice. And then move lower. Okay, let's put them together like that. And another one and to cover this area. And I don't have much time. Now I need to really to render this out. Just one more here. Okay. So I'm going to take a new render because this is the 30 minutes. And let's see now the comparison between the five minutes and 30 minutes. And there are a couple of things that I would like to change here. Of course, looks much better than the five minutes. For example, this tree, I think it's, it has too much noise on this area. Maybe I can close a little bit the, the, the frame to this side. And I just need this tree here. It's enough. I'll cover here the rest of these bushes, so maybe the camera camera will cut here. These trees here, I don't think they match so well with the with this building, so I have to change them. And also, these are blocking way too much, so I need to replace them as well. And maybe this one as well, I'm gonna do something about it. So this is something that now we can work for the rest of the 30 minutes. So now I'm gonna start from this version, the 30 minutes, and I'm gonna work an extra 30 minutes to see what will be the end result for a total of one hour. So I'm just going to put this part speed up so you can see the whole process fast forward and then you'll see the, the final render.
And so here you have the final render. So this is the one hour render. And now let's compare with the five minutes, with the 30 minutes, and then one hour. So we can see big improvements in one hour, of course, even in 30 minutes. I mean, from 30 minutes to one hour, it's just a matter of fine details. And with a couple more time, of course, you would even add a little bit of uh, weathering in decals, more vegetations in the balconies, maybe a little bit of humanization inside the apartments as well. So all of this plays with time, of course. And I would like to remind you that this is just raw render from Lumion. Nothing here, it's uh, with post-production. So it's directly that comes from there. And I always encourage to do the post-production, of course, because we always need to fix some things here and there, some color correction, give some a little bit of color grading as well. But I think from directly from Lumion, we can already see that it's a quite nice result. And again, having an extensive library that we can use out of the box, it's very nice either for 3D models and for materials as well. And so let me know what you think of these versions. Do you see a big improvement from 5 minutes to 30 minutes and then from 30 minutes to 1 hour? Let me know in the comments below. And that's it. You can see the difference that time really makes. And let me know if you'd like me to continue challenges like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.